A West Lafayette business owner is out nearly $2,000. She says that money is now in the hands of a thief. Angie Brown is co owner of Jake's Roadhouse. She and two other business owners contacted News 18 after they received questionable phone calls from Duke Energy. As Brown found out, Duke Energy was not on the other line. And looking back, there, it, it was stupid I, that I fell for it, but because it came up on caller ID, Duke Energy, and because he had so much information, I just assumed. 4.30 p.m. on a Friday afternoon is a busy time for Jake's Roadhouse. The West Lafayette Bar and Restaurant is getting ready for another busy weekend. That's when co-owner Angie Brown received a call. The caller ID said Duke Energy, and the woman on the other line identified herself as a Duke employee. She told Brown she needed to pay her bill or else her power would be turned off in a half hour. And I said, I don't have a past due bill. My bill isn't due until the 28th. The caller put her supervisor on the phone. He had personal information, including her Duke Energy account number, the name of the account holder, which is her husband's name, and the amount of her last bill. He said she still needed to pay the more than $1,900 bill. I was devastated. I had I had no idea, you know, this was going to happen. And it's 4:30 on a Friday evening, and going into a busy weekend, I was I was scared to death. When Brown offered to pay by check over the phone, like she always does, the man told her she can't do that. What she had to do was go pick up a certain gift card only sold at Casey's General Store or Meyer. So she went to Meyer with the man still on the phone, got the gift card, and paid the caller. Not feeling right about her decision, Brown called Duke Energy herself. So as soon as we hung up the phone, I called Duke Energy to verify that they got my payment. And of course, there was no record of payment. A while later, the man called back, telling Brown she owed another $2,000. She told him no. He threatened to turn off her power. But to no surprise to Brown, the power was never turned off. Brown contacted West Lafayette police about the call. Like other fraudulent schemes, police told her it's going to be hard to get her money back because the callers are most likely overseas.